welcome in and welcome back i don't really know much about this game what i do know is that it looks really cool it's a game that looks very much like a game from like th the first video game ever made some pong style little pixelated characters and then that interlaces with real life footage that was recorded and i'm very excited to try out the demo because uh all the screenshots and stuff that i've seen in the gameplay previews have looked pretty cool and pretty damn fun so <laughs> every night i have the same nightmare i see my ex-boyfriend being killed by horrible creatures after we broke up i didn't talk to him again but these dreams don't let me rest they're probably good dreams then i try to contact him without success i still have the key to his apartment don't tell me she's gonna go over his apartment is on the third floor now don't let the three pixels of the game fool you this gets a little bit kind of kooky we can interact with the table i always hated this fake living room it looks like decoration of a cheap talk show it's kind of it's just a table and two chairs i need more sleep I, I look like shit you can tell she you know what she does look like shit all right is this his apartment apartment number six ivan are you there i knock but there is no answer hello is that a monster? No, that's just him. He smokes. All right, use the key. I'm sure he's okay. He's not dead by a monster. Uh-oh. It's still the typical apartment of two movie fans. Well, only one now. God, she's depressing. This is the poster for Devora, the short film he made in, high in film school. We printed it for the premiere and then bought it and brought it home. It's broken for some reason. Okay, so that's not normal then. We get receipts, papers, and anything bureaucratic Ugh, you know these two are annoying to talk to you just know it uh and you tell them oh you guys are uh, movie fans huh so what's your favorite movie and they go you probably have never heard of it anybody who starts a conversation with that and they're talking about movies you go all right you know what we're probably not gonna have a good conversation and i walk the other way you probably have never heard of it it's a little indie underground movie. It's called uh, Pulp Fiction. These are the cans where we kept his short films. They're empty. Oh, it looks like his his devil room is still there, just normal as always. Oh, something went down in here. TV's broken. Book on the floor. I got an old book. Oh, maybe it's Braille. Does anybody know how to read Braille? Damn it. Where's a blind person when you need them? The desiderium is sealed from the outside world by the sulfur symbol and a layer of lapis fictus, which is red and hard as diamond. It can only be dissolved by arit, aritsatio. To obtain aritsatio, you need the acids of the tartarus. Tamed by iron and blessed by sunlight. Maybe he got into D and D. He's a nerd now. I go, ugh. I'm glad I left him. All right, there's nothing there. Is that his Oscar that he won? The trophies I've been won for his short films were exhibited on this table. There's only one left. Yeah, I took him actually. I stole him. All right, let's go into the normal bedroom for now. This room could use some sunlight. Oh, I boarded up these two. What are these tissues over here? Is that another woman's bra on the floor? There's an empty glass. Oh, cool. I got the glass. That's where I'm going to collect the acid of, of a tar Tarantus or whatever it was. <laughs> Looks like that room's normal. Let's go into this other room. Obviously, that room, guys, there's nothing weird going on there. Something smells really bad. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. It's uh, Sasuke's fire. It's a short film. He burnt the film. Why? This short film is what he loves most in the world. Really? That? The short film? Not you? <laughs> Boy, I wonder why she left. <laughs> he loves this short film more than anything, even me. He once specifically told me that if both me and the short film were falling off a cliff, he'd grab the short film with both hands to make sure it was safe. Okay, nothing there. Almost empty. What the hell is that? I skipped right over it. I got a developing chemical. It lists... Oh, it's the tartaric acid. Ooh. Glass with chemical. I put the toner in the, in the glass. Ivan's dying to pre yeah, pre-patch with Don. We hear him from this room going, FUCK! <laughs> FUCK THIS GAME! Looks like Ivan got into Elden Ring. Looks normal to me! It's cracked and there's blood in the glass. Did he break it with a punch? He was never a violent person. He did also burn his own film, so I feel like things have changed a little bit. 
I used to keep my things in this cabinet. Now it's full of crap. It was probably full of crap before as well. Oh, look, his toilet. His trophies are in the toilet. Like his career, I bet. Uh oh. Oh shit! I thought that was something. This wrench looks heavy. Maybe I can use it for something. Ooh. Ooh, I equipped it. It's heavy. It can hurt. Oh, right bumper. Ah. The study door does not open. It's sealed by this weird substance. At least it's not blood. Looks like some kind of some kind of very hard wax. Are you in there, Ivan? Oh, maybe we can use. Maybe that's what we use there. Uh, red as hard as diamond. It can be dissolved by the artesio. Okay, so we do have that. Combine. I can combine it with the wrench. Oh shit. Maybe I can use another chemical to mix it with. Oh. Oh, nice. I told you guys we did some goddamn sunlight in here. It said blessed by iron, right? Iron is essential for producing red blood cells. I thought I would need to get, maybe I could get like this thing. that I wipe up, wipe off the blood, you know, mixing the blood. Can I get the things on the floor? Oh my God, there we go. I can't believe I'll use this blood. It's dry. I don't know how to add it to the glass. Just kind of chip, chip it in there a little bit, you know? Oh, shit. She cut herself. So stupid. I cut myself with it. Yes, you are. Well, I guess my own blood will do. <laughs> well, great. There's also some on the floor. Maybe you could dip it in a little bit, you know? All right, we got glass with chemicals and blood. Now we need to go put it in sunlight. There we go. Man, she just throws on the floor. The liquid in the glass turned into a strange color and gives off a lot of heat. We made aritzatio. There we go. Use it. The red stuff melted. I can enter now. But do I want to? Maybe those weren't just nightmares. I will say, right? If I had somebody who I was going to their apartment, because I'm like, I keep having dreams of monsters killing them and eating them. And then I go to their house and everything's broken. There's blood broken on a glass. There's this random weird chemical and a door that's now covered in some red wax looking type thing that can only be burned by the fire of the gods. I probably wouldn't go in that room, but this is a video game. So we're going to go in the room. Oh. What the hell? Is that him? Did he spontaneously combust? You know what they say, if you don't use it, you lose it. It's that red substance again. Heart of stone. The remote controller for the TV, it's stuck to the table. There's no batteries. Yeah, that's the issue, that there's no batteries in it. I bought this plan in the worst moment of our relationship. I needed so something flourishing because our relationship was dying. I see that I even let it die once, once I left. Well, he's not going to fucking keep flowering it. I have been cell phone. It's stuck to the floor by the red stuff. The screen's cracked, but the phone might still work. Shit. The battery's dead. Nothing has a damn battery in this house. These are the costumes we use on our short film. It's all over the place. There's some missing. And they have no batteries either. Looks like Ivan wrote it. I can't forget her. No matter how hard I try, I can't forget Julia. Ever since she left, I do nothing but think about her and suffer her absence. They promised me they would help me forget her. They say the first step is to descend through the elevator to the lowest floor. What? Someone's going to help him forget me? What have you done? What kind of lunatics have you been messing with, Ivan? There's something on the floor. A green candle. He kept short film cans in this box. It's empty. It's Ivan's computer, the screen's shattered. And it's also out of battery. Can I maybe hit something? Hit the text, hit the close, hit the plant. I guess we gotta go downstairs to the lowest floor of the elevator. Wait. Things look a little different, don't they? Don't worry, I got some lavendolium. Lavendolium, what is that? This substance can heal me a little. How does she know? Who opened the door? Oh, here we go. Wow, oh, that looks creepy. Honey, you are home. 
Oh shit! Oh! Oh fuck! I pressed the wrong button! Oh, I missed! I missed again! I suck, I suck. Nice, you idiot! Ugh. I died. Come! Hard. But I played Elden Ring. Yeah, I gotta hit it with some crouch pokes. There we go! God, this game's easy. What? That thing looking like the creature that gutted Ivan in my nightmares. It tried to kill me. Was everything I dreamed real or am I still dreaming? Hey, man. I think she's tripping. There's a piece of meat where the creature was standing. It's grayed up, like rotten. I don't want to touch it. Use your wrench to pick it up and then put it in your pocket. Things are different. It's jammed. It won't open. It's a little angel. <laughs> oh, this door's got some... Ugh. That's Diddy's apartment, I think. Oh, a candle. What's this candle doing here? Maybe it offers safety or something. Here we are. The door didn't open. Maybe we go to the first floor and then climb down the fire escape or something. The door didn't open to that floor either. What about the second floor? The door didn't... Uh-oh. Lydia? Lydia, you're in a video game. Run! What the hell? It's just emo, girl. Am I gonna hit her with a wrench? Oh, it's the green candle. I have that candle. She has the same tattoos as the other monster. Is she saying light the candles, that'd be good? That shit will get you twisted. What the hell? Guess this is her floor. I got a lighter. <laughs> what just happened? Lydia, it's time to get into a specific phase in life. Time to try women. <laughs> Jesus, not that one. I mean, what that tongue did, though, you know? There we go. There's a little, she dropped that little piece of meat. It's abstract art. Maybe the idea is that anyone can be an artist. I like that. I don't like that. I feel like not everybody should be an artist and can be an artist. Some people don't deserve to be artists. Oh, this does look like his apartment. What the hell? It looks like their apartment when she lived here, huh? Did I go back in time? Well, the goth, the goth hottie gave us a lighter and her phone number is on it. Oh, I got a, what the hell did I just get? An x-ray. Sometimes my shoulder dislocates and I have to put it back in place. I've heard that's insanely painful. I do not clearly see what the t what the TV shows. Oh, maybe I have to sit down. I can't break the TV. Where's the remote? It wasn't here. What's in here now? Were these the pictures I bought him? Yo, his gaming setup. Look at that. Ivan's computer. The screen shows the script of a longer version of Devora, a feature film. He used to say that this would be his masterpiece, his magnum opus. <laughs> There's one of his short film cans. Where are the other two? One film can. Also, the revolver we used for the film. It's a prop gun. It cannot fire. What's this? Bullets. Could it be? Maybe it was a real gun. Oh, I got a gloves. I look so tired that I don't even know if I'm looking at myself or someone else. 
It's probably you. Oh shit, I broke it. Ivan, I swear I'll pay for that. This was before Ivan began to fill the bathroom with his chemicals. Ivan definitely- Oh my fucking god! Jesus! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> god damn! Did they put a baby in there? Was this a scissor blade? Yo, a new weapon? Also, can I combine this with this? Nice. Oh, I'll combine the scissors with the with the glove. Oh, I taught Ivan how to drink mate. Then he couldn't live without his mate. <laughs> what? There's something inside, but I can't turn it off or open it. What if I hit it? I might have to turn the power off. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> It just cuts to a real life cutscene and her eyes are burnt off and her face is a skeleton. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> what is that? What the hell was that thing, dude? That was the fucking that was the laundry man. No, I'm taking the gun out. No, no, I'm taking the I'm taking the goddamn gun out. I have to use the remote control to stop. The TV, because it has the symbols, you know? Alright, let's go up to the top floor again. Oh my god! It works! <gasps> they both hit me. I'm out. They can't come inside the apartment. It's not their apartment. No batteries. Can I put a battery in it? I need one more battery to make it work. Good thing I got it. Oh, batteries are in. That's odd. The remote only has one button. I pressed it. I hope the signal reaches the floor below. Nice. Okay, so now we have to go down. I was about to say, what's her health? And I just realized her health is her depressing look. What the hell? It takes that many freaking hits? I guess it is a prop gun. She's a frog girl. I'm almost dead. Look, her eyes are already closed. She's ready to go into he to heaven. All right, we got, uh, shit, hold up. Down, hook thing, and moon. Down, hook thing, moon. H, right, down. H, right, down. Ooh. Uh-oh. He spilled this jelly. What the hell? Is that us? We look hot. Yeah, the graphics are really realistic. Is this an art project? <laughs> Julia, hurry up! You still have time to find Ivan! They took him to the depths of the des Desiderium. How the fuck do you know my name? Who are you? Someone who got tired of being stepped on. My name is Sanguius. Are you with those monsters? No! Not anymore. I try to stop them, but... They are too many. Who are they? We are... The Relicta. Get closer. It hurts me to speak loudly. Hey, who's that hoe that Ivan's with? Who are the Relicta? We contacted Ivan... ...and offered to remove a part of his soul. The part that is obsessed with you in a sickly way and does not let him move on. And we did it. But Ivan was scammed. <laughs> they took his, his uh, social security card as well. He 
did not know that the ritual gave us greater control over him. It was horrible. As always, I am a minor relict, a pawn ignored and humiliated by my own people. I was always trampled by those who have power, and I can't stand to see how they abuse others anymore. But I wasn't able to stop them. They took Ivan to the lower depths of this place out of his memories. The Desiderium. Find him before they start consuming his flesh. You smell kind of, dude. They are called Rubberlacras. When the Desiderium was created, the building became a chaotic blend of Ivan's memories. But it only contains places and intimate objects, not people. Even so, sometimes the victim's mind releases that red substance, the Lapis Fictus. It can manifest in the form of people who took part in those memories. Stay sharp. They are very dangerous. Let me help you with this. Aqua Vitae. How do I find Ivan? You must go through this window. <laughs> Jump <laughs> out the window. It's a whole prank to get her to fucking jump from 12 stories. I'm gonna fall to my death. You want me killed? You will not fall. Just be careful with the creature that will try to stop you. He is someone who is invisible in the light and visible in the dark. Where'd you come from though? He was hiding under the bed. Out the window we go. Oh, here we are. What are these? Candles? This was the night when Ivan finished writing the featured film of Devora. She says it like that every single time. He read it to me in the light of the candles. It was a magical moment. I see that it was also a very special moment for him. There's some things next to the statues. A triangular stone. There are two more objects. What the hell? Something stops me when I try to pick them up. What if his script was shit, by the way? He was not a good writer. Maybe now that I have... Oh, oh, oh. This nightmare has just begun. Oh, that's it. I'm down. This this game seems really cool. Big fan already. Very excited to see when this game comes out. Honestly, pretty damn good. I don't know if there's a release date exactly for Tenebris Somnia just yet, but there you go. You can wish it on Steam. I love the the mix of the live action like cutscenes mixed with uh, the real old school gameplay. And I, I like the puzzles as well. It lets me it lets me shine and be the puzzle, you know, and I, I get to impress everybody. And everybody's going, Wow, how is he so good at puzzles? And I go, I don't know, I'm born with it.